Hello everyone. So in today's tutorial, I will be showing with you how to make slice head effect in Canva. So let's start with it. For this tutorial, we will be leading a larger canvas. So we will be choosing Pinterest pin here. And we will choose a blank canvas and just zoom it so that I can show you in a better way. So this is the canvas and for this tutorial I will be using this image which is a, a cutout image of this actual image. So if you have a pro account you can directly click this image and use going to effects. This background remover and remove all the backgrounds and also the body parts from here but if you don't have a pro account for them i will be showing this tutorial of how to make it this one so you have to go to remove.bg website and go to upload image and upload this original image and as you can see the background is getting removed. So this is the remove background. Now you have to come here to edit and use erase restore option and click on erase and after that you have to erase the body part. I will do it a bit fast. So this as you can see is the cutout is done and you will download from here to download this image and use it. So I have already made my own. So I will do use this one, make it bigger. So first we will crop this part duplicate it place it here and slightly make it bigger and again crop this part and bring it a slide down duplicate it again duplicate it Now all the parts are cut out. Now we have to make this effect. So we will turn it and place it here. And turn it slightly. And place it right here.
then bring this to slide here and for the next layer we have to make it a bit down and turn it slightly place the second layer also and also the next layer you can turn it to the opposite side and choose the last layer and keep it like that let's do it like this so for this round effect we have to choose this go to elements and choose this circle bring it here and you can go here and type canva.com slash color palette generator to find out the colors of the skin and use this image you can understand the color of the skin is this one so it is d19e82 so we will use the same color here go to here and place the score d19e82 and the same color is done here and now we have to adjust it you have to make it at the same angle here this 6 degree so you have to make this also 6 degree and bring it here and adjust it okay so this is done let's make it a bit bigger and bring it in here and you have to make it in all the layers here so let's do it how much tilted is it let's see oh it is not tilted so we have to also make it untilted so you will use this duplicate here and place it here make it of no angle movement and make it bigger okay so bring it a bit down and and after that it's time for the next one and let's see how much tilted is this this three percent so we have to make it also three percent let's tilt it to three percent percent and use it let's see how much it is tilted It is tilted 12% so we will have to also tilt it 12% this 
bring it down here and tilt it to 12 percent Now this one bring to front and this one is done. Let's see how much it is tilted. It's tilted 2% on the opposite side. So I have to do the same. Duplicate it. Two percent. Let's see how much it is tilted. It is tilted 4%. So let's do it. Tilt it to 4%. Okay, let's tilt the image to 4-5%. Now let's make this one smaller. So the first work is done which is making all the circle equidistant. So now it's time to make the hollow effect. So to make the hollow effect, as we have seen, the next layer is the spice one. So it is 734533. So you have to make a circle. Let's duplicate it. Let's make it smaller. And we have to use the shade of. As you can see, it is already shading us with this image, and you can use any of these colors from here also, or you can use this from color template. I will use this one. It is seven three four five three three. Seven three four five three three. See, first top level effect is done. Next, we will do Again, this one. Let's bring it somewhat down. Next hollow effect is done. Let's go to next one.
change the color and let's move it here let's save it with arrow key for the third layer is also done For the last layer, make it smaller first, then crop it. Make it a bit bigger inside and just move it. So this effect is done and now we have to use a solid background layer to highlight it. I will use a golden color. So let's touch from the color palette. This one looks good. Let's see. So this one is better and this is our tutorial which is ready. If you like this tutorial please subscribe to the channel and for more Canva tutorials there is a playlist in our channel you can check it and learn more of our tutorials. Till then thank you.